or I am here. And what I have here is a Mossberg Maverick model 91 12 gauge. And this shotgun has seen better days. The receiver looks okay. Uh, some good corrosion on the bottom of the lifter there. And you can start seeing the issue the further down the barrel we go. Uh, some pretty rough corrosion there. I don't see too much pitting at that point. Let me get down towards the muzzle, and there's an issue there. Um, as you can see, really ratty. Uh, what I believe happened is the vent rib came undone. And if you could look at the muzzle, you could see that it's kind of lopsided there. I think the vent rib came undone, and a gunsmith that probably didn't uh, care too much or wasn't paid a whole lot uh, did a, a pretty piss poor job of uh, finishing that out uh, after they uh, brazed the rib back on. Uh, it does have a mid rib. Or what I think I'm going to do is take the mid rib off. I'm sorry, mid bead. I think I'm going to take the mid bead off, cut it to 18 and a half inches, wherever that may be, and uh, that way I could cut off this part, take the choke tube out, sell it on eBay, recover some of my costs there, and then use the gun essentially as a home defense gun. Uh, I'll end up selling it at a gun show or trading it off for something else. If you're not familiar with it, a little history lesson. Uh, the Maverick is the bargain brand for Mossberg and it differs in several ways from the uh, main Mossberg 500 and 590 lines. Actually this is the Model 91 which wasn't made for too long. This is a three and a half inch Magnum gun and it is meant to be a bargain version of the Model 835. Well, Mossberg, uh, I guess it didn't sell too well because they pulled it off the market fairly quickly. The main differences between the Model 500, 590, and 835, 535, 505, and 510, those are all going to be guns that have the safety on the back of the receiver, which is great for right or left-handed shooters. And... Uh, it's fairly handy to get at, but on the Maverick model, they have the safety is a uh, plastic uh, trigger housing with the safety, which I believe is plastic also, being a cross bolt safety. And that is a cheaper way of making it. I prefer the cross bolt safety myself, uh, but I am not left handed. So uh, that is the just an inexpensive version. Another way they they do this is instead of having a separate metal piece uh, underneath the handguard, the handguard is just bare plastic and it's pinned to the action bars here. And uh, essentially you, uh, uh, you, you get a cheaper way of making the gun overall. So that is <clears throat> my uh, shotgun project for tonight. And there's also some corrosion issues and uh, I believe there's corrosion issues underneath the, uh, the um, uh, what do you call it? I'll take the barrel off and we'll find that real quick. There we go. Hard to do with the one and a half hands here, but I'll take the barrel off without too much trouble. You'll see there's some gunk built up there. Uh, nothing too major. I don't think there's any major pitting. What I'm going to do is just uh, use my penny cleaning method. And I think I'll cut a penny in half here so I have a better flat surface. And uh, try and get all of the, the major corrosion up. You can see a close-up look. I'm going to cut this part of the barrel off so there won't be any finish issues there. Still meet the 18 and a half inch legal limit. Uh, clean all the spots of corrosion off. Most of it looks like uh, just surface. And then I'll clean it up. <clears throat> uh, clean some of the, uh, I guess there's no corrosion on the bolt, that's good. Try and clean it up, uh, clean the corrosion off of the follower, or the uh, lifter, I'm sorry, and that'll be good to go. I will come back to you when I'm at that point. Show you the rest of the gun. Just little nicks and dings. It will make a good home defense gun and that's about it. The, the 835 and uh, the Model 91 are both uh, backboard 
which means, or not backboard, they're uh, overboard, <clears throat> which means the barrel is actually a little bigger in diameter, so it won't pattern as well as a, uh, a true uh, choked barrel once it's cut down and it's uh, it's essentially a cylinder bore, but uh, more than good enough for uh, home defense situations. I just don't know about uh, slugs so much. The rail feels a little bit loose, but it's still secure back here, so I'm going to take my chances with it. Uh, if it doesn't turn out well, <laughs> then I'll just part it out and sell uh, sell the various parts on the internet. Uh, but you'll uh, you'll find out in a few minutes. Be right back. So I'm back, and I thought I'd give you a, a little bit of a an update and show you. That's the choke tube as it came out. So I don't know. I'm sure he, the whoever the uh, Bubba gunsmith was that uh, that brazed the front uh, the the front of the rib back on. I'm sure that he uh, took it out of there, but. Uh, it's in pretty decent condition. I, I'm going to try and get all the corrosion off of it, and uh, and it's still functional. No cracks, uh, no splits, no ch nothing, n nothing wrong with it. Uh, this is an Ulti Mag choke tube, so hey, worth about ten bucks. <clears throat> so on to Mr. Uh, Mr. Bubba Gunsmith, and what he did. You can see with the choke tube removed. There's a little bit of corrosion in there. Um, he silver soldered, brazed, whatever that front sight post on. Don't know what the damage was other than it was probably just uh, knocked off. Uh, I, I am not sure. Um, but there's the other uh, the other posts. Uh, here's my cutting job, uh, miter saw and, or miter box uh, hacksaw and uh, a little bit of lining up and it's a pretty clean cut. Luckily the uh, the sacrificial part here took the uh, took the little curly cue here <laughs> so I don't have to file it off of the other side. And uh, here's the muzzle uh, prior to setting back the, the vent rib a little bit uh, so that it's kind of flush with the uh, with the rib there and then I'll clean the muzzle up <clears throat> tools I use to do that uh, here's the uh, here's the rib as it came off by the way uh, I took the front side off so that I could just slide the uh, slide the uh, rib off of the rest of the barrel so that's all that's all going in the uh, in the waste bin so the tools I use to clean it up are these, this, and this. <laughs> uh, a file. This is the actual file that I use most of the time. I've got a wider one, but uh, uh, I like this one. I get a little bit, uh, I, I get some good control over it. Uh, this, a needle file with a half round side to it, a uh, good profile. And a uh, piece of sandpaper. Uh, what, what I do is... Uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate with this. I put it on a soft surface uh, and then I just spin it a lot harder than that. But I just I, I spin it on there uh, once I've done my filing to uh, to get uh, to get a fairly smooth surface on there. And when it's smooth and, and no hacksaw cuts are left, I turn it over and use the uh, use the uh, backside. And the backside just burnishes it up. You don't want to get it uh, like a super high polish or anything like that. That you don't you don't really need it. And once I get to that point, I just uh, put a little touch-up blue on it carefully, yeah, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't stain the end of the barrel. Uh, I don't think that's what happened here, but that's uh, that's what I do. And uh, with the touch-up blue there, it should be good. Uh, 18 inches. This is actually at 18 and an eighth. Uh, I, I measured it. You don't want to measure from this part of the barrel. You want to measure from uh, where the where the rim would be in there, so it's uh, it, it's just about at the uh, bottom of that cut. But uh, either way, that uh, as long as I'm a little bit in front of that rib, I'm uh, I'm good anytime. Um, I might just leave the mid bead on there. Uh, it is a home defense gun, no big deal. Uh, or uh, uh, possibly uh, install a new bead here and take this one out. We're only talking about two inches uh, for home defense. Uh, just having the vent rib on there is going to be a huge bonus. I will be back in a couple of minutes with the finished product. Uh, well, a couple of minutes for you, probably half an hour for me. Bye. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, I've cut and crowned the muzzle. And it looks um, fairly short, I know. Uh, part of it is the fact that this, uh, this darn magazine uh, or a barrel uh, <laughs> uh, nut, magazine tube nut, barrel nut, whatever you want to call it, uh, that is just ungodly long with the sling swivel there, but uh, that is a selling feature 
somebody wants to put a sling on it, it's already ready. Uh, it cleaned up really nice, uh, hardly anywhere on the inside, a little bit of abuse. It, uh, some of the parts were kind of beat around. It, it looks like uh, somebody was just completely inept at, uh, at utilizing this uh, gun like it should be. And uh, I've already run some dummies through it, uh, proving dummies. And uh, it times good, everything, uh, everything works good. Magazine tube cleaned up pretty nice. All that, uh, all that rust and uh, corrosion is gone. The finish, uh, I don't know how well you could tell in the, in the video here, the finish is thinning some, and, uh, but it's, uh, it's smooth. I, I got all the corrosion off, and in order to do that, the corrosion had already eaten through some of the finish, so to make it smooth, it has to, it has to go down a little bit. And I did most of that with steel wool. I'm not gonna go any further, but it works uh, real smooth. Uh, Everything is good. Everything uh, everything goes bang. Let's pull the trigger with the safety off, and of course, without the safety on, <laughs> with with the safety on, it didn't. So. There we go. It is a good, sturdy, ready to go shotgun for self defense. Does he have the sling swivel down there? Somebody wants to put a sling on it. Uh, there you go. And I hope you enjoyed this video. The Model 91 is not a very common uh, shotgun, but everything I've done here applies to the Model 835, uh, as well as the Model 500, the Model 535, which is also a three and a half inch uh, model, the Model 590, and uh, the Model 88 Maverick. This is a Mossberg Maverick 91, meaning that it is uh, three and a half inches uh, choke, I'm sorry, three and a half inch uh, chamber. Of course, you could shoot the shorter rounds in it as well. It will take, I believe, four, two and three quarters, or, I'm sorry, five, two and three quarters, or four, three and a half inch magnum in the magazine. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to find out more about uh, cutting down barrels or cleaning up rust, uh, check out my other videos. Uh, I'll have a link to the uh, rust cleaning video up here, and, and maybe I'll put a link to the uh, barrel cutting video over here. I think I went in more depth on this one, but I wanted to make this mostly about the Maverick 91. It's an oddball gun. If you happen to have one, uh, go ahead and shoot it and enjoy it. I bet you don't have one with a chopped off home defense type barrel, but I do. So around ham, if you enjoy this video, please like, favorite, subscribe, share, comment, all that kind of good stuff. I really enjoy the likes, so if you if you please can uh, like this video uh, if you got if you've made it to this point bye